Welcome back to the EJ Ward Field View training series. In this video, we're going to be going over how to add and change users inside of the Field View system. So to start out, we're going to go to the security folder inside of the cabinet on the left hand side. So we're going to click that and drop it down and then we're going to go to users. So inside of the user screen, we're just showing the activated users here. We're going to go ahead and click on add record to add a user. And we're just going to name our user here. So we have our username, which is going to be whatever they're going to use to log in. Then we're going to have a password, which we will not fill out yet. The next thing that we need to fill out is their first name and last name. After that, we have an email address. So we're going to put in the email address and I'm just going to put in my email address so that I can get the email. Then you'll select a mobile provider. If they want to receive text messages from the system, we need to select the mobile provider that they have. And then you would put in the mobile phone number. This user is not going to have a phone that's going to get text messages from the system. So we're just going to leave that blank. Remarks is whatever you want to put in there. So you can put in something like administration or I'm just going to put in test user here. This is just for your purposes to look at. If you have Active Directory integration set up through our system, this is something that EJ Ward would do for you. You would select Choose LDAP, and what that's going to do is the user is going to be able to log in with the same username that they have for their Windows system, and they're going to be able to use that password so we don't track the password through here. But that username that you put in up top here has to match the username that's inside of your Active Directory exactly. We don't have LDAP set up on the system, so we're going to go ahead and uncheck that. Since this is a new user, you're more than likely going to want to keep them active. So we keep this active checkbox checked. And then we have the role underneath. Now we have a preset of roles, and in a later video, I'm going to go over how to set up the roles and change roles. But we're going to go ahead and click down on the roles and then select the role for that user. So we're just wanting this user to be a reporter. After that's done, then we go ahead and click on the generate password and it's going to automatically generate a password and email it to that user once we save the record. It's going to email to the address that's put inside of the email field. Once we click on save, it's going to come up and show that it was saved successfully and that email will go straight to that person. Then we can go ahead and click on OK and that user is now in the system. So a couple things are changed after we add that user. The first is resend via verification email. If a user is verified, it's going to have a green check here. If the user is not verified, it's going to keep this button here. If you want to resend that verification email, you can click on that button and it'll resend a verification email to that user. Below, underneath the role memberships section, we have filters and these are filters that you can use for the types of data that the user is going to see. So let's say they're only part of one department. You can select that department and they're only going to see all the data in the system that has to deal with that department itself. If everything is unchecked already, it, they're going to be able to see all the data into the system, into the system. Uh, we have districts, departments, and sites. So you can filter through any or all of them if you want to, and then you just save it and you're done. To change a user that's already been added, so we can go ahead and go to My User. It's going to be the same screen after you save, but you can see that I'm already verified. And you just change any information that you want to. To change a user's password, you're simply just going to click on the Generate Password and save it, and it will send them a new email with the new automatically generated password, and they, they will be forced to change the password when they log in with that uh, that temporary password that's sent to them. So as soon as you click on generate password, it's going to automatically check the force change password. You can uncheck this if you want, but I recommend that you do check it so that they have to change their password to something that's a little bit more memorable for them so that they remember their password and can log in. I'm not going to save this record because I've already changed the password with my user. And you would just save it down here at the bottom. So that concludes the video on adding and changing users in the FieldView system. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.